what is up guys so for today's video if you haven't already seen by the title but we are going to be doing the throwback tag and now i know i did do this in the past but i had to take that video down because there were so many problems with it and i just didn't like it so here i am doing it again for yeah what what and yeah it kind of makes sense that i do the throwback tag because well, I'm obviously 23 and I've done so much in my life so, so far and it's just the right time to look back. So that is what we're going to be doing and so yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. I've got the questions on my phone, obviously, so you know, we're just going to get cracker cracker back in. I don't know what's up with the hair today, but yeah we're just gonna leave it like that so the first question is what year were you born in so i was born in 1993 so yeah 9th of the 2nd 1993 so february you know um do you have any pictures of yourself from when you were younger if so show them so i do have a few because I've just found a, quite a lot and I'm going to show you one of when I was pretty young and then when, when I was one in school so here's one I don't know why I've got my garb open but yeah then the next photo of when I was younger is this one it's, um, it's an original school photo don't know what year I was when this was taken, but there you go. Nice me as a kitty pie. Look how ginger I was. Uh, that's my original colour hair. At one point, I did not have glasses, so yeah, just putting that in mind that I know I didn't always have glasses. So. You know, and that's how much the price were back then for school photos. Um, that's how cute I was when I was a kid. What TV shows did you grow up watching? So, the main TV programs that I grew up watching has to be. Now, if we're talking from a young young age, then it's obviously Touch DC and uh, the Teletubbies. But going into like secondary school, primary school, then it would have to be anything on the Disney Channel and anything on the Nickelodeon. I still watch that Nickelodeon and all of that to to this day. So, um. What did you want to be when you would grow up and do you still want to be that? So when I was younger, I always used to play with shopping trolleys, shopping baskets, you name it. Anything to do with shops, I used to play with it. Like, round up my aunt, I remember, because I used to live with my aunt at one stage of my, like, one period of my life. And round up my aunt, we used to pull out everything out of the cupboard so a can of food, the tin like the tin food and all of that. We literally pulled it out and we just played shops. And it was always me and my cousins. So um, I will always want to be someone that ran a shop or was like the till person at the shop or a mystery shopper basically. Um so do, do I still want to be that? Well not really, no. Show a video of yourself when you were younger. Unfortunately, moving houses and everything, we lost all our personal videos and I don't we don't have any. But I would have had to get permission of my brother and my sister to show them because obviously they would have been in the same. So that's why I ain't showing. Um what were your favourite toys to play with? So anything to do with Mickey Mouse, obviously, and the shopping trolley. You know, because why not? 
Um, let me. I believe. Where is it? Where is it? And I'm not bothering sisters in this, but there is a picture of us three playing with a shopping basket, trolley, whatever you want to call it. So, yeah. And I'm licking the wall. Typical me. What is the m most embarrassing thing that you can remember, remember doing? So, this was in primary school. We was, I think, we was in the juniors, and they wanted to split me and Fiki up. So Fiki's my twin, and I did not want to be split up from my sister because, well, we've been together literally every part of our life. And but they wanted to prepare us for the future, and I literally screamed. I threw a tantrum in the middle of the school playground and now nah, if you were in the classrooms back in the junior that in the juniors you could see like you could see me having this tantrum and oh my god i was so embarrassed i was but i was a kid i didn't want to leave my sister side sister sticks sticks together read something you wrote when you were in kindergarten so again i wrote this in primary school don't know what year but but it's called the christmas play by terry kent and it's got a little star and whatever this is now bear in mind i was a kid back then and i was so bad at drawing now i'm going to read the first page I and mean, then probably the second page and then so it's called the christmas story so obviously it's going to be about joseph and mary and it goes one day long ago in that uh, i don't even know lived mary and joseph mary was mary was go to mary Ma oh mary was go was go to marry Joseph who was a carpenter see that don't make sense at all one evening the angel the angel Gabriel visited Mary he told Mary that she was going to have a baby and he would be called Jesus while Mary was still pregnant the Empire told everybody that they had to go to go their home. So since Joseph was from Bethlehem, he set off to go there. So yeah, that makes sense and uh, look how bad the drawings were. I was just a kid when I done it. So bad. Like, look at Bobby's people. Like, what the hell? Like, what the hell was I trying to do? I literally can't draw to so much. So, so, well, I can draw sort of now. But back then, oh my god. That is so bad. If you want me to read more of that story, then let me know by giving by smashing the likes up on this video and I will show do one. Three songs you'd love to listen to as a child. So I don't remember so as a teenager I used to um listen to Steps uh five six seven eight um because I thought that, cause that was a party song back then. Um, what else did I used to listen to? Girls Aloud, um, Sound of the Underground, because there was a story tonight. But I'm going to basically leave it as a story time video. So, yo. And another one 
was obviously busted year three seven because I learned how to play that on the guitar. So, what is the one thing, one funny thing you dressed up as for Halloween when you were younger? See, we don't, we're not as big as Halloween. We don't do, well, we do do Halloween, but we're not as big as you guys in America do. Because obviously I'm from London, um, but I did go trick or treating and did experience it. I went to parties, but the only thing I remember dressing up as is one year I went as um, Dracula or Mrs. Dracula. Said another time was witch. We went as a witch all the time, but this year. We're planning to do something for Halloween, well, me and Dead Food, and I've got a cool costume planned up, so not going to tell you guys, you're going to have to wait and find out. Tell a funny story or something you remember happening when you were younger. So, when I was young, when I was younger and in primary school, my cousin, that like, we stayed, we, well, this was when we lived with my aunt, well, didn't live with my aunt, but we used to go round to my aunt's quite a bit. And we was at my aunt's, aunt's, and so my cousin took us to school. And we were just walking along fine, everything was fine. Then there's me. Lamp post smashed into the lamp post. But the funny thing is, I turned around and said to my cousin, Dave at the time, the lamp post walked into moi. And then everyone, then us, he just laughed. And then he asked me if I wanted the school to sort my head out or if I wanted to go back home. And obviously I said, go back home to my aunt's and well we just had a bit of a boogie and because obviously she didn't want me to fall asleep because of well I banged my head I might have had a concussion but I was alright I'm still here today and um, so we was up boogieing that was when she introduced me to um, Madness Lamp Post, I love that song. And what was the other one? It's a common one. How the hell? Oh, one TA. Yeah. Um, are there any special things you kept from when you were a child? So there is. I kept this ring. This one. Well, I didn't really get given it until I was a bit old enough, but it's always been part of my life, and it is because it's my mum's ring. And I do have a baby ring, but they're put away, and I um, know where they are, but I don't want to get them out. And, but, and obviously, I've kept, we kept these, because I don't want to throw these away. Uh, so, um, we do have my very first cup which was touch the speed cup which is in the shed so can't show you guys that yet um what's the scariest thing that you remember remember that happened to you when you were younger so i remember because i we knew there was um going to be something wrong with me but we just didn't know what at the time and we were still trying to figure out like what's going on and the thing that I remember happening to me like is obviously my mum dying she passed away when I was just turning two years old she was the loveliest person 
I know I only met her when I was young, so I don't really remember her. But the stories I got told by my aunt and by my family, by my dad, just by everyone. She was the luckiest person on on earth and I wish I could have met her so I could remember her because she is just so lovely by what I got told and I wish I knew her in person. Um, so, there's that. What else? And then, like I said, it's just like, because my mum was really ill, we had to be tested to make sure we didn't have that illness. And we went through so many tests. And, yeah. So, we had a lot of, but we had quite a bad, well, not a bad, bad childhood, it was a good childhood, but quite a lot of things happened, but we came out, we came out stronger than ever, we're close as, as whatever, so I'm close to my dad, I'm close to my sister, close to my brother, we've all survived, we're all here, Nash main main thing and we've got my family behind us no matter what so go through bad things and you still have people at the end of it so yeah so family if you're watching this big hug I'm weird I know um how is the world uh so how is the world now different from how it was when you were a kid well, when you when you were a kid, you don't really understand what's going on, and like your parents try and hide things from you, like money situations, um, bill situation, uh, anything like that, or illnesses, or just stuff like that. Uh, but nowadays, you fully understand it. Like I understand that going for a stroke, going for a heart attack and stuff like that and like me getting told I, I'm autistic and yeah but so you do worry a lot more when you grow older because you've got a lot more responsibilities but other than that it's good because you can do a lot more <laughs> Like, you can go out with friends, you can go, I don't know, it's just a lot more fun when you're, when you're an adult. Because when you're a child, you go, ah, oh, I wish I was an adult. And then when you're an adult, you go, I wish I was a kid again. So, yeah. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video because it has come to the end. And if you did, then give it a fat old thumbs up. And if you want to hear more of the Christmas story, because we have Christmas coming around the corner then give this video a fat old thumbs up and I shall do that for you lovely guys and yeah if you're new to the channel hi and welcome I'm obviously Miss Taylor you know the baby face but yeah if you want to be part of Taylor Nation yeah so if you don't want to be if you want to be part of Taylor Nation then don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there or floating around